we got some of our uh, faction uh, commanders here and some of our senior staff. Uh, we'll go around. You are? Uh, Northern Valley. Jay Boom. For the, for the camera. Jay Boom. So this is your North Valley cartel leader. You are? Silverback with the Mandelin or the Moon Pie Cartel. The Moon Pie? The Moon Pie Cartel. <laughs> All right, this is one of our senior staff members. She's not a cartel uh, or faction leader, but you're with Southcom, right? Pink Tiger. Watch out for her. She's lethal. This is... I'm Chappie, and I'm leading the Southcom. All right, and this is... I am the Punisher, and I'm leading the Black Eagles. Yeah, I'm not going to be news from that. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, Matt. Co co I'm here back co to you. you get here. <laughs> I'm here back to you and get here. I'm just representing. He's representing. All right, here we go. Uh, so we've got five factions. We've got the uh, two drug uh, cartels. We've got the police force, who is not represented, but that's Dragon. That's Dragon An uh, Anthony Braley. So you can find him on on the Facebook page. I'm going to put a, a map out on the. Uh, page so you can see the map uh, that we're using today. It's just kind of like a, a tentative map. It's not the actual one you're going to get. You'll get one in your player pack as well when you come out. But this will basically show you the locations of the cartels and their production facilities and then the Black Eagles, the police uh, with Southcom and also their check-in facility. We're going to go over that here in just a second so you know how that's going to work. So it'll be a friendly competition between the five factions but only one's going to come away with bragging rights at the end of the day. These guys are, are pretty good at this stuff. Just to understand that if you're on a particular faction, you're going to be loyal to that faction. And there is no moles and all that kind of stuff. If somebody asks you to be a mole, your answer is no. We need to, first of all, talk about how your faction can gain points. And we'll have uh, packets, basically. They'll be boxes, and they represent... Uh, drug packets or money, it's, they, it's for drugs that have a monetary value, it's just it's going to be the boxes and the boxes are what's going to be traded back and forth throughout the day. His boxes are, have zero value to him, they mean something to you. Your boxes have zero value to you, they mean something to you. But both of y'all's supply means something to everybody else. So everybody wants boxes at the end of the day. So it, it almost ends up kind of like a Hunger Games style sort of a thing where you have to make alliances in the beginning, but ultimately you know you can't trust the other person because they're going to want more in the end. So the first thing that's going to happen when we start today is everybody needs to make contact with everybody else and start getting, you know, uh, cell numbers, that kind of thing, so you can text some things. You got radios, although I wouldn't trust the radios because everybody can be listening in on your channel. You might use that to your advantage, uh, bring a GPS so that when you obtain boxes and things, you can go hide those in the AO because at the end of the day, it's how many do you still have in your possession. Southcom may uh, confiscate some, which if they do, they would have to go back to their little check-in station to check them in before they can take them out to their talk. Their talk is going to be outside the area of operations, so it's it's off limits. If they if Southcom gets a, a package checked in and out to their talk, it's out of play for the rest of the day. Nobody else has that advantage, but the trade-off is that they do have to go check it in. So obviously, there's going to be some folks watching their uh, FOB out there, their their check-in station. So all the other packets that are out there are in play the whole time. So to put a packet in play. Let's say J Boom's uh, cartel at their uh, manufacturing facility, which he, he his talk is here, his manufacturing facility is here, there'll be a flag standing. As long as that flag stays standing, you're able to pull product. You can pull three pieces of product at one time, give it to Black Eagles or one of your guys or whoever and say, go trade this with them for three pieces of product. All right, you can do that yourself and keep these guys out of it but that's probably not going to happen. But once those are pulled out of your original stash, they're in play. Anybody can grab them. It's only if Southcom gets them and gets them out of here, they're out of play. The rest of the time, they're in play. So they're, again, using that uh, 
GPS unit might be, you know, an e tool, go bury some boxes, <laughs> you know, out in the field somewhere, or I don't know, uh, might be good to keep them protected. The original stash of the cartel holds cannot be touched by anybody until the cartel leader pulls from that stash. It's only the cartel leader that can pull from the original stash. If he's if he's captured, killed, uh, then that stash can't be touched. No more product can be put in play. Or if the uh, production facility is down, if the flag has been laid down, flag can't be carried off anywhere. It can't be in somebody's backpack, but it can be uh, laid down, and that can be held for 30 minutes. <laughs> so, so let me let me break it down. You just basics what we covered so far about just gameplay is that cartels have to protect their FOBs. They can only pull three pieces at a time after confirming it's operational. And then you have to you have to get information back on those packets before you can pull three more. Either successful delivery, you've got something back, you've got a report that's been captured or stolen or whatever, or something, but you have to have an accounting of those packets that you pull before you can pull any more. And so it goes throughout the day. Black Eagles and police can be bribed. Southcom though, are the good guys, they cannot be robbed. They can't be bought. They can't do things like, uh, bow, 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 stop or I'll shoot. They can't do that kind of stuff. Police can, <laughs> but they're the good guys. They're uncorruptible. Something I didn't mention is, like, although you can only pull three boxes at a time to put in play, uh -huh. let's say Black Eagles knows where you're keeping your stash, and they know where, say, you've collected 30 boxes. They can take all 30 at once if they find them. But what can't be done is pulling more than three out of the original stash. So, but all of them, like say if, if, uh, if Southcom decides to go to their check-in station with 30 boxes, I don't know why I keep saying 30, but 30 boxes, and it's all the check-in station at once, it can be hit. Now, the check-in station is, is, is the safe area of paintball Arkansas. That's what's used uh, when you're playing paintball as a little safe area to but that's what we're it's in play for airsoft with us. But you can't shoot inside of it, but you can do a bang kill or a safety kill or throw in a uh, sound thunder grenade, thunder bee, or a, a tornado grenade or something like that. To, but you, you can hit that and take that stuff. The only time you can't take it from them is when they get back to their top. And the medic rules are going to be the same as they were last year. In the player pack, you're going to get, you know, besides your map and stuff, you're going to also receive two uh, ace bandages. And those will go in your pouch, in your pocket. So we're going to have assigned medics, and the medic will come over. And if you're hit, you call for one, take out one of your own bandages, and he will apply it. The second time you're hit, he can apply the, the second bandage. The third time you have your out of bandages, you have to go back to your talk, you're off mission. You redeploy on a new mission. Also, you can bleed out after five minutes. So if you go, you get hit, you go down, they can't get to you within five minutes, you have effectively bled out. Go back to your talk, you're off mission to be reassigned. Now, what, what carries along with that is you can't uh, carry intel back with you. If you died, if you bled out, or you had your three hits and you're out, you can't share intel. So if something happens to you on the road uh, and you realize there's a double cross going on, you can't tell your faction leader about that double cross because that intel died with you. You're a new person. See how that works? New, new for this year. Because the, the biggest complaint we got last year, uh, which was really the only complaint, was about uh, having unlimited ammo on the field. So this year, we're going to limit how much ammo can be carried, loaded up in magazines, ready to go. Not on your person. You can carry everything you want on you, but you can only have so much ready to go loaded up in magazines. For 400 FPS and lower devices, you can carry a thousand rounds loaded up, ready to go. Uh, for the DMR, that's up to 450 FPS, which is a single fire uh, device, no full auto. You can carry 500 rounds ready to, ready to rock and roll, loaded up. For snipers, we're limiting that down to 100 uh, rounds. Now, there will also be some support gunner cards issued to the uh, faction leaders. For the cartels, you're going to get three of these. For Southcom, you're going to get four of these. 
and the Black Eagles of Police, you're going to both get two of these. You can assign these to certain players. That gives them permission to carry an extra 1,000 rounds of ammo magged up, ready to go. Only reload at the top. Right. Like FOB. Right. No yes. reloading in the field. No reloading in the field. If you're out in the field and uh, you're seen with a speed loader or something, you're, you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. You need to go back to the top or your FOB to reload. That's the only time you can do it. Third time's a warning. The faction leader is going to hold a uh, master data list of who they assign these cards to. So if an admin catches somebody doing something they're not supposed to, as far as the support gunner goes, you can lose one of your cards. Now you're down in support gunner. And the whole team gets penalized, not able to utilize support gunners for <coughs> half an hour. You get caught three times doing something like that, somebody messing up, you lose all three of your support gunner cards. For our medics, we're going to have one medic for every five players on a faction. So that means if Southcom has 20 players, they're going to have four medics. You guys are going to have three if you got 15 on your cartel. And Black Eagles police, if they have 10 players, they'll have two. The police and Southcom can both make arrests out there. So let's say I'm a police officer and you are a Black Eagles player, which you are. And I see that you're carrying a box. I can tell you to freeze, and if you decide you want to comply and you do freeze, which you probably wouldn't, but I can take that box from you and put you under arrest. And I can say you are disarmed, or I'll say I've searched you, or something like that. So you know that I've searched you, and your weapons that you have cannot be used. Then I'll walk you back to the check in station, and I can walk you back to the top if I want to. But all in all, when I say you're disarmed, you're under arrest. 30 minutes starts on the clock. I can only hold this guy for 30 minutes and I gotta turn him loose. He can, he can escape, he can be rescued, or he can be shot trying to escape <laughs> or being rescued or whatever. But he's no longer able to use any of his airsoft devices until he gets back to his top or FOB. But you don't have a top if you're black eagle, you have an FOB. Question. You said airsoft devices. Now that may mean I may have a no, any, weapon. any weapon. Any weapon. I'm just cleaning it up yes. for, for people that might want to throw it in. Knife, tomahawk, anything. Nothing can be utilized. In addition to uh, these things we've been going over, we're also going to have some uh, mission cards that I will assign as the admin throughout the day. So as an admin, I can hand you this card, and you can assign it to a player. The player completes the mission, gets it back to you, you get it back to me. That's the only way I'm going to take it as completed is back from you, whoever I assign it to. If it comes back to me completed, then you will get a special admin awarded box that has a special monetary value. It can be taken just like any other box throughout the day, so make sure you hide it especially well. So they'll be valuable. Last day to get your tickets for South American Blitz 4 will be May 24th. After that, they go away.